Hello again. Today I want to talk a little bit on how to start programming microcontrollers. What I have here is the 8051 uh, microcontroller and this one in particular is the AT89C51. They're making them uh, AT89, C51, 52, 400 series, all kinds with different amounts of uh, flash memory. This here I got cheap on eBay. It is like an experimental board. Here's my chip. I have LEDs on port 1, a few switches, uh, reset switches for another chip there, a serial port, all for very cheap. I wasn't happy with it though. I was having problems that with the sieve that came. I removed the sieve because uh, it made intermittent uh, problems. And I just added a socket uh, there. It took uh, quite a lot of work. A lot of the time it wouldn't work and I wonder if it was the program or something else. But it was the sieve there. And uh, also I found a, a bad chip solder in here, the, the Max 232. It wasn't properly seated so I had to remove it and reattach it. So maybe I just got one that wasn't exactly built. But for the price it was pretty, pretty good to start with. Here's a programmer, the Willem programmer I got pretty cheap. And it, uh, it comes, uh, I bought adapters. This adapter is for the uh, 8051 series plus some other uh, chip configurations there and other chips there. It also comes like to program other EPROMs like uh, 512K and what have you. But there's a problem with these. They don't work per the design of the board. And it's pretty hard to contact any anybody there, but uh, on the internet I found a solution. I had to uh, uh, find it for work, and I also got the adapter that does work to program those ROMs. So there are a few little things to watch out for, at least with what I got. Uh, it wasn't all all perfect. The problem I have here. Uh, I mean the, the the program. Oh, these things are cheap. You can get like for like around twenty bucks or less. And the book. This is the best book I have found. I'm gonna mention it. The ISBN, ISBN number on on the website. I read most of it. I'm I'm wait back to the to the back here. It's very easy to read. Very very well written. Um. It makes this very, very easy. The book you can get for as low as two dollars and twenty-two cents, and I'm going to leave a link as to where to get this book. And I suggest you read it. You will find this very easy, very easy to do with a little practice. Also, I got some some cables you, I can connect to my to my uh, to my uh, to my 8051C. Uh, experimental board here and connect it to different LEDs or different boards to add switches or whatever whatever I like. And the programs too I mentioned uh, I have the keel it's the free damn mm -hmm. I hate having to use my left hand it is a, a program you can use again. You assembly or see this is the program we're running for the serial port, and uh, the Willem. Let me see Willie here. The Willem here. Uh, you know you can uh, how to. This is, this is where you program the things. Mm -hmm. So I come back with an error because we don't have a chip there. But Ollie's the programmer, the compiler, assembler for C and. Uh, and assembly. Okay, we're gonna turn this on, and it should it should give me, uh, you know, saying we're ready. I'm gonna throw the switch on now, and it says there. I don't know if you can read it. It's 
pretty hard to adjust this one here. It's saying AT8051 is ready. C ASCII received on port 1. So, and excuse this blur thing. Oh, goodness. As I press the keyboard, the lights are I programmed to uh, port 1. So, we're going to press A, all the different letters. So, what I press on hyper terminal is, uh, is coming back, meaning that, that the communication software is working. It, it, it first just sent a text message to the screen and now I'm, I'm receiving data and putting it in a file of the accumulator at the moment A but from there I can manipulate it in any way I want so I can get uh, you know transmission from chip to chip or via the computer or any other RS-232 I recommend to start with these cheap little projects and you know get some practice uh, you know sometimes like me I had to troubleshoot the damn thing I took out the chips actually I even, I even broke a couple of wires on the back I modified it I put it better I put battery power so I could you know it's, I, it could be mobile but I broke the trace on the top there accidentally and uh, and that one there with the crude tools I have here at home um, so it's cheap and uh, especially that program or that program I recommend to everybody there's different kinds I got version 5 and it can do just about everything uh, for all the different EPROMs and, and different microcontrollers, PIC micros, they can do AVRs, they can do the list goes on ad infinitum. Also, uh, the experimenter board comes this thing in Chinese. You have to learn Chinese to learn how the how the wiring diagram goes here. Um, most of all, I really recommend for those with serious interest in this is to get the book that I'm going to list on um, you know on the drop down menu there where you can read more about this and start reading the book just read it over at first don't worry about doing any experiments get a, a clear understanding of what's going on and and uh, then uh, you know try experiments of, of whatever you like from robotics, communications, whatever. So I had a fun time uh, doing this today. At least now I got it to work. And trying to make this video, I got this damn thing solid. Now I can uh, go in there and get serious with uh, uh, other hobby products I have. Wish you all a wonderful day. Over and out.